Hi Sagittarius, it's Gwen here and you are meant to see these messages today. My guides have come through and asked me to title my readings this way for this round anyways. Um, and so I'm tuning into several Oracle decks and my Akashic Record Tarot to get you messages from your guides. Messages from your higher self, messages from your past life selves, tuning into the Akashic Records, right? We all have access to that information, by the way. Um, and then Earth Energy supporting you at this time and your galactic team of light here with affirmations. So, should be fascinating. I love doing readings for my Sagittarius tribe. Um, thanks for all the support that you give the channel. Um, from the likes to the comments to, to sharing, subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Um, and Cross Watchers, you're welcome here too. You know, like you could be with a Sagittarius and are trying to learn more about them. And these messages could actually be for you as well. So and remember, you're not just your sun sign. Watch some of my other videos on the channel. So let's get into it. Let's start with the um, affirmations. You got two. The only sign so far that got two. So, just saying. You are on the path of light. Look at this beautiful picture. The path of light. Your divine path. This bridge. Okay? The bridge symbolism always uh, refers to you being that bridge between heaven and earth. That divine being. Okay? So, and following these little lit up spheres here along this path. Spirits lighting the way forward. Trust, Sagittarius. Life places the perfect people and situations on my path to help me advance on my journey of inner growth. I possess the courage I need to progress despite any obstacles I might meet. I study my experiences, seeking the wisdom they have to offer. In this way, I improve from day to day. Today, I choose to grow in faith, and I am confident that at the end of my road, I will join the light. Okay? And then trusting. That sun energy is just blinding. Solar expansion. Okay? It's talking about the inner expansion. It's talking about your rebirth, seeing the light at the end of this road here. Okay? Today, I trust in God. The God within me, the reflection of God in you, the power of God within you. Okay, that's what I'm talking about when I'm t when I talk about God, universe, source, energy, however you want to label it. Okay, no matter what happens as my day unfolds, I will remember to remain in harmony. I will maintain my sense of humor, and I will keep my focus on God's love for me. In these ways, I will minimize drama and increase my inner spiritual strength. It's learning how to trust yourself again, to make decisions, to live your divine truth, to live in your light. Okay, um, And it might be a time for you, as the underlying energy here, to take it back to the basics. To simplify your life. Okay, I'm going to give you the third affirmation because I love you, Sagittarius. Today I choose to simplify my life. As I do so, my burdens lighten. I release my ego's need to understand, to prove, and to control. Instead, I undertake every task with an open, humble heart. Seen through the eyes of a child, I discover life in all its wonder and simplicity. As the complications and chaos of the mind fall away, I remember I am one with the light. <sighs> Taking you right back to this path of light again the three the power of three cards there okay there is a need for you to forgive yourself and maybe you've been having some trouble with that i feel like i've done this before for like it's like a deja vu kind of reading for me maybe you're having some deja vu moments with the forgive yourself for sagittarius it's from your guides i'm going to read it to you today we forgive others as well for our own healing by the way this uh, this school, this earth school, is, is for self-discovery, self-healing, self-growth, okay? So let's talk about forgiving yourself. In school, you're not always going to give the right answers. In school, sometimes you will act out. In school, sometimes you don't focus on the lesson at hand. 
In school, sometimes you will be cruel. Have you ever looked back at your time in school and not been able to forgive yourself for these transgressions? I mean, like, that's interesting that I talk about that because I was just talking with a 13-year-old yesterday about how I got, I got suspended from school and what happened with that. And as I look back at it now, my insight as a crone, right? Like, uh, <laughs> am I still thinking about it? And like, I can't believe that this perfect 4.0 nerdy girl got suspended from school. Am I still holding guilt over that? No, I'm, the, <laughs> I'm seeing the humor in the situation, right, too? And that I, un I inner understand what the teenager's going through. I need to defend yourself and stand up for yourself, right? And the misunderstandings, too, that can happen in school and how kids can be so harsh, right? Like, yeah. Anyways, I don't hold resentment for some of these things that I did while I was in school. Well, that's what the, your guys are saying. You're in school now, so, like, let go of the past. Don't hold guilt, remorse, okay? Um, you have chosen Earth as your school room, and you should be just as lenient. You are here to learn. It's important to forgive yourself when you make errors. Living with the guilt of past deeds blocks the energy of the future. Each soul progresses in its own time, but when you don't allow yourself forgiveness, you are shutting off the heart and telling the universe you are not worthy to receive. If you have caused pain to another, it is imperative to apologize to them in addition to forgiving yourself. The guides can't stress enough the importance of forgiveness, either to yourself or another. Carrying the negative energy of guilt as well as the negative energy of resentment back to the spirit world causes unwanted karmic entanglements. Not clearing this energy while you are still in this physical dimension before you make your own transition to spirit is a huge source of regret for many souls. So please do act now. They're pretty stern and imperative about that forgiveness, finding that forgiveness within yourself. Which... <clears throat> Now we come in and how is earth supporting you during this rebirth, during your spiritual path here, this path of light. There's been some sort of wake up call, you know, we call it the awakening, but a wake up call is a huge change in your life. Okay. Um, the ending of an old life and a whole completely new one beginning. You could be feeling rather displaced. When a tsunami comes, right, we have to move to higher ground. Um, and also, because a tsunami is created by a displacement of land, right? So, yeah. Um, there could have been some sort of destruction, devastation, trauma. When this card comes out as well. Um, and, but there's always this forewarning. If you think about a tsunami, how the waters recede. So there's a wake-up call in your life, but it's almost as if you saw it coming. The moon there being depicted. A large amount of emotions coming to the surface. Dark emotions, moon, emotions that were hidden, fears. Okay. Um, you've been dealing with, um, a, possibly a, like a mountain energy in your life when this comes out from the Akashic records, we've got the seven of keys, which is the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So this is showing me the loss that could have happened with this. Um, it could be a wake up call about your health as well with the seven of pentacles. It could be a wake up call about, um, We've got a lot of pentacles out here, keys here. So uh, you could have suffered a loss in a business, <clears throat> a loss. This is some sort of loss, the seven of keys with the, I mean, here ascending the mountain, standing on top of the mountain, clear vision, investing in what I value, the seven of pentacles, right? Uh, but this is a sense of defeat or loss that came in. Um, not putting, somebody's not putting the work into a relationship as well. And it could be that relationship with self. But now, 
with this five of keys coming out here, the five of keys, right? Key symbolism is we hold the keys that open the doors that are ours. Sagittarius, hear me. Okay? Um, and it's a time for it. Like, I feel like that tsunami, too, is, is maybe with the health, the physical health, the temple, maybe, too, because the wishes fulfilled card, like, look at inside of the home, the, nor the, the harvest. Okay, it's bright, it's beautiful, it's colorful. Look at the expanse out the, out the windows there. Five of Pentacles. It is a home that has no body in it. So Five of Pentacles sometimes feeling left out in the cold. But there's wishes for coming, wishes fulfilled. A change is coming after a loss. They want me to read you five of wish, the wish fulfilled, okay? And then a time for you to start loving your inner child. A time for you to allow joy into your life, Sagittarius. This is joy, okay? This is bliss. This is, again, seeing the world through the eyes of a child. One of these cards said that here. This, the simplicity, the elementals, the nature beings, the nature spirits, all supporting you, the child in you, and celebrate you. And yeah, there's that letting go behind that that's in the reverse. Let go of the past. Let go of the old you. Okay? Loving elementals support you. Three of Cups energy is celebrate your life. Celebrate children, your connection with your child heart here. Okay, this wish fulfilled. Let's talk about it. This card is a sign that it's a time. The time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled. It could be have to do with home or owning a piece of land. As I see the land out there of those wide open windows. Okay. Difficulties may have challenged you for a time, but even in these, victory is assured. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired lands coming. The keys to the castle are yours. It's time for you to celebrate. Close your eyes and feel someone hand you a set of golden keys. One of them opens the most important door before you. Open the door and see what lies ahead. There's some sort of change in your life been activated with the winds of change and the earth magic deck. Yep, you've a full moon here. Completion, that means that it's the end of a cycle, the beginning of an, a new life cycle where you are passionate and fired up Sagittarius. What are your creative pursuits? What are you passionate about? Focus on that. And you are rebuilding here. With this bird's nest. Mm-hmm. Yep. Focusing on the home. Focusing on the children. Focusing on nourishing yourself. Um, and maybe even three of wands is expanding, you know. Maybe about thinking about expanding your family. Making it bigger. Getting pregnant. Maybe you're thinking about um, remodeling your home right now. This is the underlying energy. Yeah, we've got several threes here. Mind, body. I talked about that to begin with, with your affirmations. Mind, body, spirit working together beautifully. The power of three. And you're creating a brand new beginning with the ace of forces. The ace of wands. It's a passionate new beginning. Okay? Um, and that could be with work, like my entrepreneurs out there, creative adventures that I talked about. Or it could be passionate romantic encounters. That's the wand suit. Right now it's a chess game. I'm not going any further into it today. We're not going that far into, into these readings. So, um, And they want me to read you the seven of keys today. So since that one was in reverse, let me get there. that loss whatever that is let it go the loss of a job the loss of a home the loss you know maybe you filed bankruptcy you invested in something and it fell through you invested in a relationship and 
just didn't work out. Let it go. Let it go. Reversed right here. This card reversed can sometimes indicate the loss of a position, a sudden departure from a job, or a fall from grace in your reputation or career expectations. It also speaks to efforts that don't pay off. You may have worked hard to reach a higher position, yet it seems to have eluded you. The specific outcomes you seek may be harder to realize now, and your efforts may not be acknowledged by others. No matter how hard you work, it seems like you're often starting over from the bottom. This may just be a passing phase, but if you find yourself making long-term efforts without any reward in sight, it could be a time to think about a new approach or a different place to plant your flag. And let, yeah, so like let this go because their wish is fulfilled. It's coming in. Make space for this. Okay. Um, there is a goal high above you and you have to climb a steep hill to get there. Close your eyes and feel filled with energy and enthusiasm for this goal. See how you can apply yourself to this endeavor. What steps can you take to reach the top? Slowly rebuilding here. Okay, that's what I see with the bird's nest too. <clears throat> and ah, we'll go back to the beginning. Remember, um, Sagittarius, that the universe... Is placing the right people, place, situation, experience before you on your path, when you're on this path of life, okay? And that you do possess a lot of courage to continue to follow these signs that are lit up for you. I mean, look at it. These little lights that are lit up for you. <laughs> and the harvest and the wish is granted. After a, a big devastation in your life, a loss, a devastation, time for a choice that you made that had devastating results, um, feeling like not at home, like the tsunami makes us move and move quickly. It's, it's, yeah, you could even have some PSTD, I feel, from it. Okay, so forgive yourself, forgive yourself is super important from your guys. That's the next step in the process, and there's all kinds of change coming, darlings, okay, with this wind activation. So, and eclipse season coming. Mm-hmm. Nine days is when it starts. Eclipsing out the old, make way for the new, okay? I love you, Sagittarius. Bye, base. This is your reading today. Drop me some love down below. Thank you for those good karma donations. And a comment gets you entered into a chance to win a free reading from me. So why not, right? Add more energy to the reading. I love you, Sagittarius. We'll talk to you soon.